Oh, we're signing up for Wix. And we're going to just go through the, um, just a simple, easy placeholder website. Like you said, Misty, if you decide you want to go with WordPress later, as things get more complex or you get, you know, more, more time, effort, money, then you can always, you can always ditch the free Wix. Okay, myself or my business, yes. Have you created a website before? Okay, do I just need? So what I, what I did with this uh, to find the author side of things is I hit other, and then it had, in other, it gave me an opportunity to choose from a bunch of different author ones. And then over on the left side, let Wix create it for you, but click the start now over there. So it didn't give, it will give me a chance later for an author one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought, um, you know, the templates and the layouts and things that, that, that they provide for you when you select the author one looked really good. Um, you could, so it gives you like a recommendation of what you might want. Um, I don't know if you want to be able to chat with people and know that they're on your website or not. You could leave that or just uncheck it if you don't want it. You don't want that? Um, maybe? I would recommend doing a blog, even if it's just uh, posting things that you're excited about and sneak peeks and things like that. Ooh, showcase live stream and sell your videos. Can I add that later or should I add it now? I would add it now and then you can always remove the little module, but you'll have it there for later. Do you have events? I don't want to can you display your pics. Yes. So paid subscriptions to product services and content. Probably not. Up completely up to you. If you don't if you don't need that, you can always add it later. That's an easy drop, drag and drop. Scroll down though. You want the subscribe form. Okay, that's it. Do I, should I do Barry Patch Press or should I do my name? Um, what, either one, whatever you want your actual website listed as. Existing website I don't have, right? Yeah, that's more if you had one and you're trying to create a new one and you wanted to bring things over from the old website. I really have to put in my address? Nope, you don't have to. Okay, good. Should I put an Instagram here? You can. It'll, um, it might pull, give you an opportunity to pull some um, information from it. And it'll also make sure that it, it puts a little link to your Instagram on your website. So now you get to, you can hover over those things and kind of see the different look and feel of, you know, the, the text and the colors. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have a, uh, recommendation I chose high rise because I thought that was really cute but if and if it's an author the I kind of went back and forth between the elegant and the high rise okay. is that what okay yep so now you get to kind of take a chance to take a look at and see the layout of different things and see maybe which one you might like for your web page the, the homepage design. It's not something you can't change, but it's a beginning for you. Let me not scroll down. Oh, let's scroll down. Okay, so this is one page and it would look like this. Yeah. It's just the homepage that you're that you're looking at. And what you do when you go in here is you'll be able to uh, delete any sections that don't apply or that you don't want. But it gives you a sense, just different ways of laying it out. I really, really like the that one that you're scrolling through now. I think that's really, really nice. But if 
like I said, it's completely up to you which one you like, and we can change it later if you don't, if you want to, you know, uh, change things a little bit. Isn't this so easy? I'm hoping so. Um, edit right here? Or just yep. that's to edit right here? Yep. Uh, well, yeah. So each section has its own edit button, as you can tell. So if you decide that there's something that you don't want, you can delete it. For example, like if you don't want to put anything in the store just yet. But if I were you, I'd put your books there. I don't want to start selling them myself. No. Then, then you can just highlight over there. And so hover over and then just hit delete. And all you're doing is deleting it from this page. You're deleting that like module, that block from the page. So you can think about it that way. Okay. Um, edit. Let's just start here. It's what I like about it is that you went right to exactly what and look it pulled in it pulled in some of your um your images from your social media that you set up so you can click in the middle where it says upload from computer if you know where it is on your computer if you have it on facebook or instagram you can grab it right from there by choosing the facebook or instagram and you can see you can even go to um your Google Drive. So it makes it so very easy to just grab whatever images that you want, upload them, and then add it to the page. Yes, that one. See how pretty? And if this wasn't so um, intuitive, I would have had to be telling you every little click, but I'm not. As you can see, it's so intuitive. Yeah. It would be good to have a testimonial section too in that beautiful testimonial that you got about the kids in the hospital. You could put that there. Oh yeah. Mom? Yeah. What? I want more of you. Okay. Mom? Uh -huh. Is that rude of me to say <laughs> if it's coming for me? Nope. But I would put I would um do a carriage return before the words when you feel better so that it just separates it. Yeah, there you go. Can I see? And then un yep, and then under yep, see how easy? Yep. When you go underneath there, I do another and then put um, available on Amazon. And you can actually highlight it and add a link. Oh, wonderful. And I would even say available in Amazon, um, in paperback, uh, in ebook, comma, paperback. And then you can have links to the word ebook, link on the word paperback, and have it go directly to the ones that they're looking for.
Yay. So okay. intuitive, right? And, and do, you want, do you want to link separately to the ebook? So um, this image is not showing up right. All right, double click on it. Go to the image, and then when you go back to the image, it um, I think there's a cropping feature. Yeah. So you might, it looks like it, the, the specific um, slot there is smaller than what your image would be, but does it allow you to shrink up your image? Not really, huh? Yeah, in some cases with these templates, you have to make your image the size that it needs to be one way or another. There you go. You can use that. You can use that photo somewhere else. Is that okay? No, I don't like. It. No, that looks weird. Yeah, it's about it's about finding you know the good a good size, and you can always use. Um, paint or Photoshop or whatever to take an image that you have and to resize it yeah. for the right, you know, the right size you need for the particular area. Yeah. What about the image that's of you and holding the book? Like you, you must have used that to create the bigger graphic. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have that picture? I'm wondering how that might fit. I do. Oh, okay. That's where you got it from. Yeah, and you'll be able to crop it and get it to be the right size. Um, when you go in there, you'll see the zoom feature will allow you to, like, zoom in on it and crop. Yeah, that zoom. There you go. That will bring it closer. Whoa. Yeah, perfect. See? Okay, so this is again. This is the home page. So um, you'll have other things. You can you can just leave yourself as a one. You know, with a one page, or you'll be able to also add additional pages as we go through it. Okay, I'll put that in later. Yeah. And then you've got your uh, book, and then what is this? Writing is the geometry. So you could put a little quote there or you could just delete that do you remember how to get rid of it yeah i'll put a quote there okay and um, this is is that your social media like instagram thingy go go and um do manage and see what that is it could be videos it could be each module has its own types of links and things yeah see this is your video library so it wants you to upload your videos. So I can work with that. I can paste the YouTube video right there of my artist. Correct. And then I can upload the video of me reading my book to my kids. Okay, thank you so much. I got to go run and get my son. Okay, and later when you're ready to go back on, if you have any questions, just ping me. Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Okay.